that takes care of those two. Yay. All right, and now we go on to the, the ship part, right, where we're on Ammo Baron's fleet. Fairly, there's no point in ever going back to Area 1 of this stage because there's, like, no collectibles. Like, all the collectibles are in this portion. Mm -hmm. But we're actually, like, on and inside the ship. <laughs> <laughs> but takes care of him. They kind of did that earlier, too, in the other game. Oh, my God. Having two minions is amazing. They just cleave all these guys. Yeah, boy. These airships remind me of, like, Miyazaki airships. Oh, really? Yeah. I can see that. They just need the flat flaps. You know how, like, he always drew his, like, airships with, like, wings that flap? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Which I thought was very clever. I liked that, yeah. Yeah, like, because everyone always draws ships, like, the way we see ships nowadays, but that's, like... Mm, that was bad. Exactly how you would expect a ship would look like, but, like, if it... If we didn't have the influence, you know? The influence. Of modern-day ships. The influence sounds like it could be a band name. Doesn't it? Yes. I wouldn't be surprised if that already is one. I just oh, don't know. What kind of like genre would it be? I'm thinking like electro rock. Electro rock for the influence. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking it could be one of those emo boy bands. Or maybe something more like Coldplay and U2. Yeah. Like a darker version of Coldplay. Um. Uh, does anything come out of there? Can I? Oh. I thought it was a good idea, but there's nothing there. I can't even cl cling on to that. Cling on. There we go. <laughs> I just decided I'd let him uh, do his thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Ah, oh, oh, cheese and crackers. Ba -ba oh, yeah, I remember this room. Remember I had so much oh, trouble yeah. figuring out how to do it? Even though there was like, a really easy <laughs> way of doing it. I like the way I do it in here. That's pretty awesome. Just use your grappling hook. That's that's cool because the grappling hook was not, as far as I remember, was not an item in um, in Pirate's Curse. That's new, and I like it. Yeah. Good. This looks like a good place to hide. I'll just be careful here, even if I'm only doing one damage at a time. Can I send out minions? Like, go get them! Nope. nope. Fine. Ah, oh, crap. That's exactly what I didn't want. Why did you go this way? Because he's stupid. <laughs> I, I wanted to go that way. Away, my master! There we go. There we go. Great, this is gonna be fun to get through. Okay, cool. Uh, mm, okay. Woo! Woo! That was close. Oh, Jesus. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. Go get him! Yeah! Man, Risky has so many cool tools at her disposal. Mm -hmm. It's really fun playing as her. I want to go down. How do I go down? Uh, yeah, there we go. I'm going down! You're yelling timber. Huh? Oh yeah, didn't we only get through here because of like elephant before? Yeah. But it looks like there's a thing I can shoot in here. Ah! Yeah, she wouldn't be able to get through otherwise. She has no ability that would allow her to do that. <laughs> That's my guess anyway. So maybe there's no scimitar rush in this game. Maybe they got rid of the scimitar rush. Maybe they just have the scimitar slam. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. the scimitar rush was a little broken if you if you used it right. Remember, yeah. I, I broke the game a lot of times with the scimitar rush. Remember in the mm -hmm. Shanti Pirates Curse LP where we would do the the standing run to uh, get to places we weren't supposed to get to yet. Remember? Yeah. Remember? Remember? You remember? remember? I remember. That's a weird reference. I guess. It's a South Park reference. Well, it's only, like, a reliable reference if people are still watching that show. Um, Which... Chris has been talking about how um, the writing for that show has been really good recently. It has been. And it has been. It's I, so good. I said I never watched all that much South Park um, growing up because um, uh, my, my parents wouldn't let me watch it. <laughs> 
Uh, well, it's not their thing either. No, it's not. It's not their type of humor. Yeah, my dad doesn't like it. My mom doesn't like it. But uh, I've come to really like it, actually. I think it's funny. Was there something difficult in this room? Maybe it's just like, oh, you couldn't do this if you didn't have the full hat upgrade, which I do. Yeah. I don't know, that hat upgrade is just so good, I can't imagine not having it now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, oh, I love the way they spiral. Oh, yeah. no! Okay, now we're in the big part of the ship, I believe. But we've been getting a lot of the collectibles here. But we have so many abilities now, because, I mean, this is the fourth level we're coming to. Although there's no water. Oh, that gave me full health. It'd be hard if there was water in the sky. Yeah, well, there is. They're called clouds. <laughs> oh, yeah. But clouds aren't 100% water, are they? I, I don't know. I mean, they might be. What's the other percentage? Marshmallows! Different, kind of, different kinds of gases. Marshmallows! Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this for fun. Wait, okay. Get moving. Fully upgraded Tinker Bats! Yay! Now I can have four. I thought you said Tinker Bats. Hello, army! <laughs> <laughs> this is better than doing the sword upgrades, just build up an army to fight for you. I ah. like that strategy. I should upgrade the weapon damage at least on my sword at some point here. Alright. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, that was so worth it. Did you see that? <laughs> they just kill everything <laughs> if I send them the right direction. Oh my god, this is so oh, like great! You put also... I mean, they're not smart. They're like lemmings. Didn't they discover like that was actually not real? Yeah, it was all fake. Can you can you explain that a little bit to me? So, it was actually from a documentary about Arctic life. Yes. And the thing about lemmings is like every generation or season, they just kind of disappeared. Right. Like large large numbers of them disappear and then they reappear again and no one really knew why that was the case and so some documentarian decided to make up their own idea for it, it was just they just made it up completely for the most part they were like yeah they just when times of stress happen they'll just run off cliffs and they actually like in this documentary got a ton of lemmings and forced them off of a cliff holy crap for this tape yeah and so, everybody thought that that was what lemmings did. Well, as it turns out, what actually happens with lemmings, as is with most rodents in large social um, environments, is if the population gets too big, one of two things happens. All the food is gone, they all starve to death, or they start eating each other. Oh, that makes more sense and than, that's just, why, than, than just suiciding. Yeah, and that's why these lemmings had huge population um, disappearances. Because, and I don't know for sure, maybe maybe you have some more like insight on this. Um, mm -hmm. In general, animals tend to behave in a way that comes out of a survival instinct, mm -hmm. right? And so I would think that just by that nature, that suicide wouldn't be a part of animals behavior whatsoever suicides. are there cases here's what I are there cases of animals being suicidal um usually when they're under severe stress and they end up harming themselves unintentionally to the point of suicide okay but it's not intentional um, no and you see that more with domesticated animals than you do animals in the wild that makes sense now the closest thing you can probably get to intentional suicide with animals is usually something that gives some kind of mating advantage or works within their life cycle like I, salmon basically that... commit suicide oh i see what you're saying you oh, okay know? okay okay like animals yeah. that like when they have sex they die Pretty I much. guess that would be kind of like suicide. Pretty much. But it's for reproductive purposes. Yeah, or like there's species of like 
There's a species of rodent where the male will constantly have so much sex that they die. Oh, They'll be God. chronically trying to find mates, and that's all they're thinking of, you know, and working towards. They don't even eat, they don't rest, they don't drink water, they just fuck themselves to death. <laughs> they just go fuck themselves. Like, literally, like... I get it, just, yeah. That's how their, like, biological... That's how their society engineer. works, yeah, okay. Then you have, like, animals like praying mantises... Where, like, the males will just stay with their female long enough to get their head eaten off. Yes. Which that's... is also kind of suicidal, but that means that that will guarantee that their sperm impregnates the female. Because they're staying long enough to impregnate the female. So, like, there are certain cases where some animals are biologically engineered to be suicidal, but not in, like, the same concept as, like, As a human suicide. Suicidal. Yeah. The That's close, what I was wondering. Is yeah. like, is there anything like that? The closest thing you can get is like animals that have been highly like neglected, abused, or stressed out hmm. in domestic situations where they will stress themselves out to where they will harm and injure themselves. Like you see that with parrots. You know, if a parrot oh, is stressed out. Oh yes, you know what? I've heard of that. Yeah, the those animals being highly intelligent social creatures. If you keep them in a bad environment for long enough, they'll pluck themselves to death. Oh, yeah, 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 And they'll yeah, yeah, bite yeah. themselves, right. and they'll injure themselves, either out of boredom or out of stress or out of emotional distress. It's very similar to how a lot of humans behave when they're under, you know, large amounts of stress and neglect and abuse. And you see that, once again, more and more with more intelligent animals, too, when they're under stressful situations. Shit. I mean, that's why... You know, you see so many orcas killing their trainers. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Because mm -hmm. okay. their environment is incredibly ill-suited for a large migrating social species with a huge amount of, like, emotional intelligence. I mean, they have basically the same capacity as humans for emotional intelligence. Right. And with the environments that places like SeaWorld puts them in and conditions they put them under... I don't think a human could, like, deal with that, let alone an orca. Actually, speaking of which, my parents wanted me to, or my mom, wanted me to keep it a secret from you that they're planning on going to SeaWorld over spring break. Because, <laughs> like, don't tell Rosie. She'll hate it. <laughs> look, look, they can do whatever they damn well please. I don't have a problem with that. Just don't bring me into it. <laughs> That's all. Because there's cool stuff at SeaWorld. There is. There is a lot of cool stuff. They just don't take care of their orcas well. That's all. And, and, then, I, I don't, and I don't know, I simply don't know how much of that stuff's in the past, you know, and that they don't still anymore. I don't know. So far, it seems to be in the past. Like, they're not taking orcas from the wild anymore and putting them in their enclosure. And I think they've stopped their breeding programs. Okay. Um, unfortunately, their animals are still in really bad condition. Like, most of them die from uh, respiratory diseases Okay. and stuff, but... Blast it all! I was still recovering in the infirmary! Whoa, what do we got here? I don't know what I'm looking at. I sure as shoot like it. What? I don't know what I'm looking at. I sure as shoot like it. Stand down, wallowing hog man. Give me the parts I need and spare yourself a beating. Grrr, kablom, rat tat tat. You want to go around? Yeah, why not? Show me what you got, princess. Does she just envision everybody as stupider, as her? stupider than her? Yeah. That's some funny. Troops, fall in. Right, she does, because, like, when the uncle was talking, he sounded stupider than usual. These magic carpet infused prototypes are pretty unstable. This wasn't the voice I had before, I know, but I don't remember what voice I did have. <laughs> now, if I remember correctly, the way I was able to kind of beat this guy before was because, like, he surrounds you with guys. Oh, yeah, he fights, like, yeah. M. Bison, that's right. Yeah. But I don't really have a good power for that this time. You know, for someone so bulky, he's really kind of wiggly. How much you notice that? Uh, I guess I see what you're saying, yeah. Like, I could see him being squishy, but people who are muscular like that aren't very squishy. Yeah, I really need to upgrade attacks, because I'm just, you know, I haven't upgraded how much damage I do at all. Um, you gonna do anything or just let me hit you? <laughs> what was that? Glitch. He's just like, eh, just hit me a few times, whatever. Smack me in the knees. Smack my knees into pieces. This is Ooh. my last retort. You okay? I'm just thinking of knees being smacked to pieces. Ooh, you're right. That is not a 
Not a fun image. Oh god! My knees have gotten a lot more. Now, do these guys just gotten... like do these guys just take one hit and then they go? Because yeah. then I should just use my spread shot. Spread it. No, they actually have HP. Spread it. Probably eat some food. Oh, I will soon. Rosie, we just went to Sonic. Jeez. No, we should eat more food. <laughs> I could actually eat more food right now. I mean, I could. I'm not particularly hungry, but I'm not particularly full either. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Yeah. No, I'm right there with you. But I don't know. I could... If I portion size my meals properly, I could just constantly eat all day. You know, like if I ate. How many dark magics do I have? I have four. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just let's just go ahead and do this. <laughs> like if I portion my food out like a normal <laughs> person would, you know. Uh -huh. Are you just jacking that shit up? Let's see how much damage I do now. Damn. I think you're faster too. I think my range got bigger too. Oh my god! Damn! Whoa! I should have done that way sooner! <laughs> I think I'm just hungry because I've been exercising more. I, if I remember in the Enchante, you had to like do separate things to increase hair speed and hair power. Well, this yeah. is just all combined. So, wow. Alright, we gotta cut off there. So we'll see you guys next time for more Risky. See ya!